Dear Elder Ted Wilson, I'm sending this video letter to you today in response to your Sabbath sermon two Sabbaths ago at the annual council. And uh, uh, the tweets that came out because of it or from it, the, uh, the tweet that I'm talking about or the words that you said in your sermon were adultery, fornication, and LGBTQIA plus or in direct opposition to God's law and heavenly plan for human sexuality. We must make a conscious choice, even though unpopular, to speak up for Bible truth and not simply go along with societal trends. And when I heard that, I was quite disturbed that someone of your caliber would actually say those words. And I'm not here to uh, disagree or with any doctrine or, uh, or anything like that interpretation. But when you say adultery and fornication, those words are something that is an action, something that someone has done. Whereas LGBTQIA+, and you must have gotten my letter from a few weeks ago because that is the correct uh, acronym that I referenced in there. And uh, I see you used it in your sermon. So thank you for reading my letter previously. But someone who is lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, asexual, et cetera, is not an action. It's a self-identification of that person. Uh, you don't have to be doing anything. You don't have to have sex in order to identify as lesbian, gay, bi, et cetera. Just as you don't have to have sex to identify as a heterosexual person. Gay people, uh, lesbians, transgender, et cetera, are self-identified as that. They know from uh, usually from a child age onward that that is what they are. It's not something that they have done or experienced or chose. It's something that they feel. So in, for you to add LGBTQ, the person in with adultery and fornication, I find totally totally unacceptable. And uh, I, I would hope that you would uh, educate yourself on what it means to be lesbian, gay, bi, trans, etc. I see you included the I in there. I is for intersex. Someone who is born uh, not as a binary person, either male or female, but someone who has the genitalia or biological uh, organs of both male and female. It has nothing to do with who they are having sex with or anything. It is how they are born and how they live for the rest of their life. So you're condemning these people who may not have ever had sex to the same as an adulterer or a fornicator. I believe uh, you're very mistaken and you have led many people astray by saying this uh, using these terms. Uh, being lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, etc., is not a societal trend. It is something that we know we are from the very beginning. I knew that I was gay from probably the age when I first became aware of things, five or six, and didn't have a name for it, didn't know that it was sinful to be such a person, never had sex uh, at that age, but yet I knew that I was different. And later on, I realized that the term for that was gay. Homosexual is not added into the Bible until 1946. So if you're uh, using the Old or the New Testament to condemn homosexuality as we know it today, someone who loves someone of the same gender, then you are misquoting the Bible. Yes, it does talk about uh, same gender uh, relations, but they are between people who are uh, uh, referring to rape, temple prostitution, uh, pedophilia, uh, sex between inequals uh, as a control method. So um, I think uh, you've made a big mistake with that quote. The other one that outraged me was I encourage you to allow Bible-based groups like Coming Out Ministries to point people to the Bible and God's power to overcome sin according to his word. And I'm not sure the Adventist Church wants to go down that road again. Your predecessors supported and the General Conference supported with our 
funds, general conference funds, the Ministry of Colin Cook and Quest in Reading, Pennsylvania. And uh, then it was found out that he was uh, abusing his clientele and the counselees. And the, the church quietly withdrew uh, the funds from him, but never apologized to the LGBT community for what they had done and the, and the shame that they had brought on by suggesting that our uh, young men and young women attend Colin Cook's uh, counseling center. Uh, and now we have coming out ministries, which may not use the same tactics that uh, Quest did, but can be equally damaging. Every LGBT, gay, lesbian, queer person that I know prayed for many, many years that they would be changed because society didn't accept them. Our beloved Adventist church doesn't accept us. And after many, many years of prayer, I have yet to find anyone who was truly changed inside. Yes, anyone can, can modify their behavior and stop doing something, whatever that is, but no one has changed that inside wiring, the attraction that, and the longing that they have for the same gender, just as you have a longing for the opposite gender with Nancy, uh, that same type of experience, the same type of feeling is what uh, the, the gay community, the queer community, the Adventist queer community experiences. And to know that you are shutting these people out uh, of being members of the church, being part of God's family, when God does not condemn this, uh, I find totally unacceptable. And referring people to coming out ministries, uh, I, I rejoice for the, the leaders in that group because they were uh, into drugs, alcohol, prostitution, self-hatred, and they found Jesus again and came back to the Adventist church. And I applaud that. But many of the LGBTQ people, the Adventists, have not left the church. We are still in the church. We want to stay in the church, but it makes it very hard when you preach a sermon like this for us to be able to remain when it's obvious that you do not understand what it means to be lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex, or queer. So I invite you to answer the emails that I have sent you or send me uh, 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 an email. Anyone listening can send me an email for more information uh, at info at sdakinship.org. Seventh-day Adventist Kinship International has been in existence building a safe community for current and former uh, queer Adventists for over 40 years. And uh, we build the safe community that people cannot find within the church. So if you have any questions, please send me an email. And uh, Elder Wilson, I look forward to actually hearing back from you. Uh, I've tried to contact you for many years now without a response. Our community would like to speak with you, not, and, and have you speak with us, not to us. And um, let's dialogue. Uh, let's put aside the myths, the misunderstandings, and Let's uh, get to the bottom of what it means to be a gay, queer Adventist. Thank you. I wish you many blessings. My name is Floyd Punitz, and I am currently the president of Seventh-day Adventist Kinship International. We welcome anyone who's an ally or and supportive of the gay community. Thank you very much.